Catholic Church has been raptured, taking his first step toward the assumption of his rightful inheritance. As the Lamb of God, he is seen standing. He has left the right hand of the Majesty and High. He is seen approaching to take from the hand of Almighty God the title deeds of this world's inheritance. This will be the first step in the coming in the glory of his atonement. All following steps will consummate in the final taking of this kingly throne in its great majesty and might. Here he is seen as the lamb newly slain. Calvary never becomes stale in heaven. Its memories are always treasured in that glory land, just as though it happened every day. The supreme moment has arrived when the lamb in his personal glory is to descend to earth to ascend the throne and reign by virtue of his right to redemption. To this the ways of God can, for this creation grows. Israel yearns, and the church hope and pray. For now the great moment so long anticipated, so often predicted, has arrived. And now in the midst of an adoring universe, he comes out from obscurity to fill the gaze of the heavenly host. As the Lamb, he was the center of the band in the judgment hall, silent in his agony, alone in perfect holiness of his divine nature. Now all is changed. The first glimpse of the Lamb awakens the silent hearts of gold. Angels, cherubim, and the saints of all ages all unite to praise the glorified Lamb. My, what a picture it is. What a glorious time it's going to be. You might say what a climax is going to be. This inheritance bought at such a tremendous cost at Calvary, and which is his by right of purchase, will at this time have been usurped by the beast and all his armies. As the land comes to take this possession, they will resist by force of conquest. They will be marshaled in red array on the battlefield of Armageddon to contest his claim. Uni men deceived by Satan shall in his madness <coughs> the folly unite to prevent the reins of government going into the hands of Christ. But my dear friends, the great humiliating defeat awaits them. The last great battle of time, you might say the battles of time, takes place. And by the word of his power, he is able to come and to conquer and to put down the enemies of the cross and to bring victory out of defeat. My, what a glorious triumph it's going to be. Friends, we can look forward to sharing in that one day because we belong to him. He bought with his own precious blood. But I think of many of you today not saved. My heart is so concerned. And may I say that you'll never be saved until you realize you're lost. Until the Holy Spirit brings home the truth your heart that you're a sinner, ungodly, without strength, an enemy of God, dead in trespasses of sin, separated from God, lost, on the way to hell, you will never be saved. Christ Jesus come into the world to save sinners, and until you realize you're a sinner, he cannot save you. Oh, I trust that you realize today that you are a sinner, that you will come and trust him because he died for you. He shed his precious blood, and he waits to say to the uttermost, all who come to him by faith, he'd love to hear from you to help you. You pray for our program today. This broadcast is sponsored by the People's Gospel Hour, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, B3J3A1. Our United States address, the People's Gospel Hour, Box 55862, Boston, Massachusetts, 02205. Now, until the same time tomorrow, the Lord willing, Pastor Perry F. Rockwood, may the Lord bless you and make you a blessing.